Hey guys, welcome here. In this video I will show you how you can upload your images or files with the node server to Amazon Web Service S3. And this is the first part of tutorial for backend. In the next tutorial I will cover Angular and React part. So let's start. Go to your browsers and let's navigate to aws.amazon.com. And if you don't have an account, you need to create it and maybe you need to provide your credit card. But don't worry, if you are uploading images, you will be not charged. You need to upload thousands of images to be charged. I uploaded hundreds of images and I didn't pay even one cent. So for you, it should be fine. All right, so you can stop videos and you can create an account. And if it's created, you can continue. And I will sign into the console. So sign into the console and I will enter my credentials. All right, sign in. Let's wait a little bit and here in AWS services, we can type here S3 and you can see here scalable storage in the cloud. So let's click it. And now we need to create a bucket and you can imagine bucket as a folder for your images. So let's create a bucket this plus sign and bucket name. I will call my bucket YouTube dash images just like this. Region, you can choose your region. So for me, it will be EU London, let's say, and next. And here are, okay, this bucket name already exists. So I will choose YouTube images dash one next. And here are some additional configure, configure options. I will skip this, but if you are uh, interested in these options, you can ask me in the comments and I will answer what does it mean, these options here. Okay, let's click next. Here are just some permissions for this file and we can go to a review, okay. So bucket name, YouTube images one, region EU, EU or London. Okay, so create a bucket. All right, bucket was created and I will list it on that date created. And here they are, YouTube images one. Let's click it. And we need to remember or write it down these two informations. YouTube images one as our bucket name and a region. And you can see I have a region here, US East one. So this region, I need to provide then to my service in implementation. Okay. Another important information, we need secure credentials. Click here on your profile name, in my case, my name here and my security credentials. All right, I will continue to secure credentials and you can see here access keys. Let's open it and I will not share this with you but we need to create a new access key if you don't have created. So I will remove one of my access keys and I will create a new one. So delete this one and create a new access key. And here click on show access key and write it down somewhere to file or, uh, or download key file because we need these keys to provide these keys into our implementation on our server. So save it and now we can continue and that should be done from our Amazon part and we can go to our coding editors. And here I am in my project book with me and you can get this project, you can clone it from my GitHub repository and I included the link inside of a description under this video. And one note here, in order to work this node server, you need to set up MongoDB. So it's up to you. You can set up your MongoDB or you can comment this code here, Mongoose Connect. All right, let's continue. And first we need to install a few packages. So I will show you what we need to install. So let's go back to browsers and here let's navigate to NPM website and let's look up for Malter, Malter S3 and AWS SDK. So first we need AWS SDK for JavaScript and it's the official 
SDK for JavaScript. And you need to order to connect to your AWS service. Then we need Malter. And Malter is just a middleware for handling form data, multi-part form data, so for data files. And uh, it's primarily used for uploading files. Okay, and then we need Malter S3. And this is just an integration of Malter for S3 service because you have multiple integration, but we want to use Amazon Web Service S3. Okay, so let's start installing it. Go to your terminals and make sure you're in a folder of your project. So for me, book with me dash ng. So let's npm install dash dash save and we need aws dash sdk space then we need malter so malter and I will verify it here inside of uh, our browsers. So malter malter dash s3 and aws sdk. Okay so let's continue. So malter and malter dash s3 like this. So press enter and I will fast forward this in installation. All right, it's well installed so we can continue and let's go back to our browsers. And let's navigate to malter dash s3 npm package and let's scroll down here. And we need this part of code usage here. We need to create a object upload and all of these options and so on. And here is also example of post route. Okay, so I will copy starting code with AWS and until this up post. We don't need this route for now. So let's copy this and let's navigate back to our coding editors. And I will create here a new folder instead of our server folder services and it's here. So if you don't have it, just create a services folder. Our name is up to you. And here instead of a services folder, I will create a new file and let's call it malter.js or file upload.js. It's up to you. I'll call it file-upload.js. All right, and let's navigate to this new file and let's paste everything here. And I don't want to use your bars, but const. Since we are in Node, we can use some ES6 features and like I like const more. So const up, const s3, const upload. So we have express here, we don't need express actually here. We have malter, malter s3, everything fine. And we can remove this object inside of s3. So here we are creating instance of AWS s3 and provide here also semicolons in the end. Okay, I can remove this app. And we need to provide here some additional info informations for our AWS service. So let's write here aws.config.update this function, so let's call it, and provide inside object. And we need to provide here three values. So first is a secret access key, like this. All right, second one is access key ID, access key ID. And the third one is a region, so region like this. And these two values, these two keys can be familiar to you because we just get them from AWS. So let's go to browsers. And you can get these keys from AWS. I will find it here. This is not what I'm looking for, and here it is. Okay, so I will not share it with you, but you need to copy access key ID and a secret access key from here. So let's copy it and let's navigate back to coding editors. And here you can paste your keys instead of a secret access key and access key ID. And I already copied my keys to my secret file, so I will import it config equals require of this folder config. Okay, and I will provide here my, my values from config file, but you can paste here your values from AWS. So for me, it is config 
dot aws secret access so secret access like this and for access key id for me it is config aws access key all right perfect and for region you can check your region instead of your browsers and here go to your s3 so i will navigate here to my s3 service here it is and let's find our region and you can see it here us east one is my region so i can copy it from here and for you to make sure you can also navigate to your bucket so here it is youtube images one and you can see it here region us east one so i'll copy it from here and let's go back to our calling editors and here i will paste it us east one okay so here we are updating our config for aws our secret informations plus region here we are creating s3 instance and here we are creating upload object from malter we are providing storage our storage is malter s3 and here is a S3 instance we just created from AWS and here is a bucket name. So let's get this bucket name. Let's go back to browsers. And for me is YouTube images one. So I can copy from here or from, from URL, YouTube images one. Let's go back to our calling editors and let's paste it in uh, some bucket. All right, here is uh, metadata callback and this callback is called when we are saving our image to AWS and we are providing here some additional information. In our case, it's field name. It's from file field name, but I will write here something custom so you will see it inside of AWS when we upload image. So I will write here testing metadata like this. All right. And a key is a function that will be called before we'll save our file or image to AWS and the key value consists uh, will be composed from date now so this will be time step of current time and we will convert this time to string so under this name under this key will be our file saved to aws and i will show it to you what i mean when we will upload our first image okay so we have an upload object and we can export from here this upload so module dot exports equals upload perfect so this is done and now we need to create a route to upload our images go to routes folder your routes and create a new file here so new file and i will call it image dash upload dot js perfect and we can copy some boilerplate from rentals dot js and i need just these two imports this router and express okay back to image upload and now i can create a route our post route to upload image so right here router dot post and now path and the path will be slash image dash upload and now callback function as always with request and response in argument request and response okay and now we need to import here also our upload so right here const upload equals require and this upload this folder and inside of our services so services and file upload perfect now we are importing upload but i want to create single image upload so i will create a new variable and i will call it single upload or single image upload it's up to you and I, now I will call upload dot single and inside value of image and this is very important this value this key image because under this key we will send our image on request to our server and I will show it to you inside of our postman so what I mean by that so now we have single upload everything fine and now we can call our function single upload so single upload and just provide inside request and response and here will be callback function that will be executed after our image is uploaded 
or you will get error from server. So I'll write here instead of the argument, error. Okay. And actually we can check for error or we can leave it for later. And I will leave it for later. I For now I just want to return from here something. And I want to return from here response.json and just some JSON. Let's say image URL. And here I will just write request.file.location. Okay, so we will get here our URL of our image, our uploaded image. So we can access this after. Okay, so now we have a route, but now I need to make this route visible. But first we need to export from here router. So module.export router. And I need to register this route. So I will go to our server.js. And here I have some routes and I will just copy this out routes. And I will call this file upload routes or file routes, file routes. Okay, this can stay and I can import our file routes from here. So file routes equals require and this from routes and image upload, I think, or file upload. File upload. And I can see here some inconsistence because I'm calling these services file upload but route is called image upload, so up to you, but I think I'll rename it. So I will rename these routes for a file upload, so it's consistent. File upload for routes and file upload for service. Let's go back to server.js. And here we are importing our routes, file upload, file routes, and now we need to register them here. Okay, and that's done. Okay, perfect. So now we can test our endpoint. Don't forget to run your servers. I'm running it now here. You can see node server started on port 3001. But I can stop my server actually, or I can run it from here. Or you can run your servers from terminals also. And I have some issue here. So let's check it out. Cannot find module routes file upload. Okay, so it just naming some naming here. So I'll find it. Here is a file routes from routes and here I'm missing dot you see so it should be like this dot and slash routes file upload okay so let's run it again okay and now it's running successfully and as I said you can run your servers from terminals just navigate to your server folder and run node index.js or name of your server file in my case, it's a server.js, so node server.js, and you can see it's running. But I will shut it down and I will run it from my Visual Studio code because I can debug it inside. And actually, I can play some debuggers for you, so you will see what values we are getting. Inside of routes, I will get one breakpoint here, and in services, I will get one endpoint in callback functions here. Perfect. And I will run it again. Now you can run your Postman's. If you don't have a Postman, just stop video and install Postman Google Chrome extension. Just go to Google search and let's look up for Postman Google Chrome extension. Okay, and by the way, you can find all of the informations also inside of my blog I wrote, and you can find link just under video. Okay, so let's continue and let's go to our Postman's. All right, and now I'm sending a request here, post request to HTTP localhost, so it is my server on port 3001 slash API slash v1 slash image upload. So this is the name of our route we specified, image dash upload. And I want to send here some data and you can see, I need to send form data with key of image and here you need to set this file because we want to send file and I already chose some file. I, I will do it again. I will choose this file, screenshot, some screenshot from my file system, make sure you have form data and this image key. And I told you this is important because we wrote this image inside of here. I will show inside of my routes, file upload, and here is the upload single image. So 
and this is the key we are sending. Let's navigate back. Okay, and let's send this request. So I will send it. And I'm getting inside of my callback function of key and I'm setting key of this image for date now to string, as I told you. Let's forward this. I'm setting field name for testing metadata. Okay. And I'm getting inside of a single upload in this callback function, which is called after our image is uploaded or we are getting error. Our error is undefined for now. And we are returning JSON with our request, file, and location. And you can see this is the location of our image on Amazon Web Service. So I'll forward this. Okay, and now we can go back to our Postman's. Okay, so here in Postman's and I have a link here for our YouTube images on Amazon. So I can get this link here. I can go to browser. I can paste here. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to remove quotes and I will navigate to my image. Just like this, and you can see this XML, XML file does not appear to have any style information. And that's good because access is denied. We didn't set access control for this file. By default, the files are not publicly available. So we need to set one option to our Malter S3 and it's called ACL. And it's actually here in Malter ACL. Not here. Again, here maybe, uh, and here it is, ACL access control for the file. So you can see ACL public read. So we need to set up also this option. I can copy this from here. And you can check all the options here inside of uh, this website. And I will include it inside of, uh, of my blog post on or inside um, description of this video. And here is all available options. Let's go back to our coding editors. And here to our file upload.js service. And let's copy this option here. ACL public read after bucket. Let's save it. And don't forget you need to restart your servers every time you will do some change on the server part. Okay, so I restarted it. And let's do it again. So let's go to postman and send request. Okay, I will forward this breakpoint, this execution of code, and should be good. And here I have new link. I will copy it. Let's go back to our browsers and I will paste it here. Okay, and you see my image was downloaded immediately. So I, I get my image from this link. Perfect. So file upload works just perfect. And you can go to your browsers actually, and you can go to your Amazon S3 service. And I will refresh this YouTube bucket. And you can see I have two images uploaded here. And when I click here on image, I can check here properties and metadata. And metadata here, field name, testing metadata. So these are metadata I told you we are setting on our object here, services. And here is a field name, testing metadata. And key here is date now to string. So this timestamp, I told you, this one. So this current time timestamp. And you can change your name for whatever you want. It's up to you. I have timestamp for now. Okay guys, so this is a file upload and I can show you a little bit bonus here. I, I can show you how you can handle errors and this will take another three minutes. So if you want to stop your videos now, you can stop it or you can continue and see how I'm handling errors. And by the way, all of the information instead of a description, you can find all project there. You can find a link to GitHub, to blog posts and all of the necessary information you need. So. Okay, so let's continue with error now. Go back to our coding editors. And I actually have this code here inside of a readme file. I prepared it before for you, so we don't need to lose some time. 
and I will copy it from here and let's go to our services and I will paste it just above above upload here so file filter you can see it's a callback same as as our functions metadata or key they're getting a request file and a callback but what's happening here I'm checking for my file mime type so if my file is image JPEG or image PNG and if it's a this file type is JPEG or PNG everything is fine I'm calling my callback function with null and not sending any data to my callback function and I'm saying it's true so everything is fine but otherwise when my file is a different type I am calling my callback function with error and I'm saying it's false so something wrong happened and I'm providing this callback I am providing this error here and by the way this callback we are calling here these are function we are calling here in file upload this callback function here so that's what we are executing actually and we are sending this error and I will show it to you when we will debug this code okay so we have our file filter here and we can provide this file filter not to our malter s3 but actually file filter here and you can always check all these options on this npm website and I will show you that file filter is here all of the available options are here and also, also for malter s3 and if you have any doubts just ask me in comments or write me private message if, if something is not clear okay so we have file filter options here let's go back to our calling editors and by the way when a key and a value name is the same in ES6 code you can remove value and just leave this key here and it's the same as it was before and also I can remove this as string for example and leave it like this let's go to our routes to our file upload and as you can see here we are executing this callback function with error so I can actually check for error here so if I have an error I want to return here status or of 404 or something similar actually I will copy it from my other routes because I don't want to lose time with this so we can copy this line and it's not actually 404 because 404 is for not found and it's 422 and you can check all the statuses on internet so let's copy it let's go to file upload and let's paste it instead of an error and we don't want to return from here uh, there are no rentals but I want to return here other string and actually we'll get this error from this error object so I'll write here error and I think it's message object I'm not sure but we'll debug it and we'll see so it's error message and a title will be something different and let's say here file upload error or something like this okay and I will place here debugger and also we can go back to file upload here I, am I will check this callback and I will place debugger inside of this file filter before we will check for a mime, mime type alright everything looks good we can go back to our browsers but before let's make sure you, you restart your servers so let's navigate to your terminals you can restart your servers here or I will do it inside of my Visual Studio code so I will restart it here okay it was restarted and we can go to our postmans okay so to postman and send here some other file not PNG but let's find here something else so I will look up here for some other file and it should take a second to find something else here and here is some txt file okay so let's send it send and here I'm checking for a mime type so you can see file mime type is text slash plain so I will fail this check and I will go to this callback function with a false and this error let's navigate forward and you see I'm getting here instead of this callback function and I have here 
error and I have stack of error and also message we specified before invalid mime type only JPEG and PNG is allowed. So I will forward this and then we go back to our postmans. You can see we will have this error here file upload error invalid mime type only JPEG and PNG. Let's say some good file. So here inside I will choose some other file. Let's say this JPEG sent. I'm getting here instead of this check and my type is now image slash JPEG. Let's forward this and here is a callback with the null and true. So we are passing this and we should send back our URL of image we just uploaded to our Amazon Web Service. And here. Perfect. So everything works, guys. And this upload for our node server. This is our backend part. And in the next lecture, we'll cover Angular and the React framework part. So we'll make some input, we'll select image from our computer, and we will upload our image with our node server we just created to Amazon Web Service. All the necessary information, as I mentioned a few times, you can find under this video inside of the description. If you have any questions, just send me a message or write me in comments. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. It could be a little bit more difficult because of uh, node setup, but you can find node setup inside of my GitHub repository. So guys, thank you for your attention, for your time, and hopefully to see you in the next video lectures.